restoration is a... You consider restoration a valid school of magic? Worthy of study? Don't you? Don't you? Good, good. Not that I require validation, of course. There are just some, and I shan't name names, who would disagree. It can make life difficult when one's colleagues fail to recognize the research one engages in. Take a look. If you're working on any experiments, please clean up after yourself. Don't bother the Archmage of If there are any problems... You've been quiet so far. What do you think we should do? Is that so? See? She agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? All right, let's settle down. I suppose we can try something practical. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you mind helping me with the demonstration? Are you at all familiar with ward spells? Well, then this should be no problem at all for you. Now, if you'll just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. Here we go. Over there, please, just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. You have to keep your ward up or else this won't work. Over there, please. Just opposite me. Wouldn't want anyone else in the way. Hold still. Excellent. Well, I think this is an excellent start. I'd like you all to continue practicing with wards, please. I think perhaps we're ready to begin exploring some of the various applications of magic throughout history. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. That's all for now. Thank you. I have many important things on my mind. Your concerns are not among them. Another new apprentice, I see. Are you of the sort that believe you're here to change the world? Or are you only in it for yourself? I assure you that I shall be watching you, all of you, very closely. College. Nords don't trust magic or those that use it. Made it difficult for me growing up.
Chanting services are one of the few things that keep us in touch with the rest of Skyrim. What is it, Elf? You know, this is one of the very few places where you can receive a real Sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. If there's anything you need, just let me know. I'm afraid there's not much to be said. Vinterhold is hardly what it used to be. You can talk to Birna if you need to buy anything. She doesn't have much, but could certainly use the coin. And then there's our little inn. Most of the business we get is from folks here to visit the college. Though even that's dried up some. Good day. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just... I'm just trying to have a quiet drink here, all right? It's not like there's anything to do here but drink anyway. College is a bit of an oddity in Skyrim. Magic isn't something that's looking for. I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? I do what's necessary so we can get by. Have to, since I can't count on my brother for anything. Very funny. I'm sure you've noticed that Winterhold isn't exactly overflowing with people. So I'll sell whatever I can. If it's worth putting a price on, you can bet I'll do it. I've been burned a few times, made a few bad deals, but mostly I come out on top. Yeah, it was stupid of me. I shouldn't have believed the story and just refused the trade. But I didn't, and now I'm stuck with this worthless junk. Some line about this claw thing in Ingol Barrow. He said it was worth more than its weight in gold if I took it back there. Something about placing it back in Ingol's chamber, I don't know. What was I thinking? Even if it were true, I'm not setting foot in some ancient tomb filled with who knows what. I don't even care anymore. You want to check it out? Fine. I'll sell you the thing for 50 gold, and then it's your problem. Fine, here you go. You get killed on account of this thing? It's not my fault. Got it? But I suppose if it does actually turn out to be worth something, let me know, will you? Wasn't by choice, I can tell you that. Options were in short supply. Branmir and I grew up here. And nearly any money I make, he drinks away. Without the coin to pack up and leave, I decided to take to trading. I.
Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters or something. Need a ride? <coughs> Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. First time to solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already knew that. Need a ride? Here? Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Traitor! You betrayed him! Your it. uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Batman. You're all right. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric no. challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords! Day, I go to Sovngarde. Some gate guard you were! Good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. It shouldn't have been like this. Damn shame, Rogvir. You're a good man. I'm waiting. <laughs> 